fibroids can range from the size of your thumbnail to all the way up here, right. as Mine if you're, you know, you can, you can appear six pregnant. months pregnant, you can appear eight months pregnant. Yes. This is a significant issue, and it can cause pain, it can cause pelvic pressure, it can affect your sex life, oh, yeah. it can affect your ability to exercise. In your case, it caused heavy bleeding, which for us in gynecology normally suggests that the fibroid is located at least partially on the inside of the yes. uterus. You had a horrendous bleeding experience. Oh, my God. Okay. That I w want to ask you if you could share. Yes. Um, I was at a Bravo event, and I was on my cycle, and, you know, Peter was like, make sure you, you know, you got everything on, you know, you got, I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. I mean, I mean, unless I put on a Depends, I mean, I put on as much as I could. And I remember after dinner getting up to leave, and as soon as I set up, I just felt like this oh. push fall in my underwear. So I immediately was like, uh, oh. and Peter was like, what? And I was like... This is not good, and it was such a big, you know, the blood clots is so heavy, so I stand up, and I'm thinking, how am I gonna get from oh. this restaurant to the room sure. without mm. bleeding through? Mm. And of course, I didn't really want to tell my, the people I work with, like, oh, hey, guess what, I have fibroids, and I think I'm about to bleed through my dress right now. <laughs> so, so that was the moment you decided you had to get this taken care of. I did, because of. what happened was, by the time I made it to the elevator, I was literally standing, like, in a pool of blood almost. I mean, I'm being a little dramatic, but, like, blood was coming down my legs. Cool. Edward and Peter had to call the hotel front desk and say, um, oh. I need somebody to come and clean up the elevator. My wife had an accident. Jeez. And now you have to realize, people are still coming up to me going, because they're not even looking at the blood. They're, like, looking at me going, Cynthia, yeah, oh, my God, can I take chat. a picture? <laughs> uh, where's Nene? I'm like, uh, <laughs> and it, maybe I don't see this, but I'm bleeding to death right now. And, and Cynthia, it was it's, so it's embarrassing. important to mention, too, that the fatigue that you're feeling isn't necessarily because the fibroid is there. It's actually from the bleeding and mm -hmm. becoming like anemic. anemic yeah. And then you have exactly. some cravings and you're, you're tired. You can't, you don't have the energy. One, but, it, but it's important, too, to talk about some different theories as to why it is that African-American women have so many fibroids. So the, the, the research is still out, but one is it could be from the chemicals, the relaxers that we use in our hair. The other one is that it might be related to a vitamin D deficiency, mm -hmm. like one in three African-American people are, are deficient in vitamin, vitamin D, D, so they've linked it to vitamin D deficiency, mm -hmm. and they've linked it to uh, more intake of meat and pork products. Yeah, I was going to say diet. So, I felt like maybe it has something Yeah, so out of those three, any, did you, have you, did you grow up using relaxers? Of course I did. <laughs> Me too. Me too. As soon as I could get one. Me too. We all, we, we, we all did that. What about uh, vitamin D? Do you ever supplement vitamin D? Is I don't. Think you, no. And what about diet? Do you, do you eat a lot of meat products? Or well, I grew up in Alabama. I grew up in the country. Okay. So, you know, I grew up on, we ate every part of the pig that was available <laughs> to us. I ate, I mean, everything. But like, thing, no, not everything. Healthy. One thing's interesting is that um, you talk about your symptoms. I think women at home should know three of the most common symptoms. Mm -hmm. You know, the heavy and the prolonged menstruation period, mm -hmm. the pain. Some yes. people feel the pain. And also having to go, you know, to the bathroom a lot. Like, yes. women don't realize that th this may be something that's going on.